wrong places. Truth is a person. The Word of God took on legs and dwelt among us. John 1. The Word of God took on legs. Jesus showed us the way. Jesus, Jesus is the best role model any man will ever have. And Jesus laid down his life for a friend. Jesus was homeless. <laughs> I like that scripture. I moved into my Honda four years ago. That's how much I was like, I'm tired of paying a rent. I'll just sleep in the back of my car. I'll figure out where to take a bath. Hey, I don't have to wash dishes anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it was awesome. Not knowing that that plan, March 17th, 2011, would birth worldwide ministry. I didn't know in a few years that God would send me to 25 countries in 55 weeks. And I ain't got no house. I don't have a credit card. I have a debit card. I have just a debit card. And if there's not any money on that debit card, I can't buy nothing. So that means I'm forced to trust God. The other day, I get off of the cruise from Russia. It's a cheap cruise, y'all. I'm not living it up. It was a cheap cruise. You should go. St. Peter's, it was cheap. Now, in summer, it won't be cheap, but right now, it was like 108 euros. Okay, that's cheap for four nights. Sweden is done in the Russian back. I got off that cruise. I did not have any money in the bank. I did not know how I was going to get from Helsinki Terminal to where I was staying. I said, God, I need some help. I need some help. And this is a powerful testimony. See, God allows you to be broke sometimes, so you'll need him. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. yeah. My scriptures at the same time. I know I'm trying to tell the one about Russia, but I'm trying to tell the gay pride thing too. But God hates pride. And that's what I was trying to say. And if you ever preach at those things, you can simply talk about pride. I mean, you know, it's the perfect time to talk about sodomy's a big no-no. You know, Sodom and Gomorrah didn't have a Bible. They didn't have a church. And God was like, and what did Jesus say? Sodom is an example of what I will do again. And I'm telling you, I'm scared for my nation. They've already legalized like 30 states gay marriage. So, the good stuff. Okay, let <laughs> yeah. The reason I didn't have any money in my account is because my PayPal didn't clear and um, Skype had taken my phone bill out because I forgot to cancel my free membership. So I, I would have had $13. Okay, so, uh, and by lunch I did get to eat because he cleared by lunch. But I'm talking about my crisis when I got off the boat, okay? I didn't know how I was gonna get to my place and I didn't wanna call the people. I didn't wanna call pastor and say, hey, I'm a loser. I don't even have three euros. I didn't want to bother the man of God or the people I was staying with. 
So I asked God for help. And this 21-year-old guy from China is like hooked to me. And he's just like, I've never been to Europe before and I'm kind of nervous. And, and I'm like a mom because I'm always preaching to college kids. So he's like stuck on, and so I'm talking to him. Next thing I know, he, he buys me a water. I give him my extra change from America and Sweden because he's going to Sweden. And uh, he, he gives me the three euros, but that's not what it was about. It was about us becoming friends because I'm going to China in June. <laughs> he is from Beijing, China. I bought my plane ticket to Beijing, China yesterday. I met the guy a few days ago. He says, my sister's getting married at the end of the June. I said, can I come? Because when I go apply for my visa, Pastor, I can say, I gotta go. I already got my plane ticket. I'm going to a wedding. <laughs> That's how we roll. 